Today, we're gonna find out if Costco Prime is worth the extra money versus your Walmart Select brisket. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. My name is Kevin. This is part five of our brisket series. This is the final part of this brisket series. We started back in January, and today we're finishing it with Costco Prime and Walmart Select. And we injected both of them because in part two of our brisket series, we did a inject versus non-inject, and I'll put that entire playlist right up here. All right, so I'm gonna walk you through pretty quickly, and then we're gonna get to the taste testing of how we made this awesome brisket. And I gotta tell you, the Costco Prime, oh, it looks amazing, but I'm gonna have friends stop by, and they're gonna do a little drive through, and they're gonna taste and give us an honest review. They'll just know, A or B, and that's what they're gonna text me. Did they like A better, or did they like B better? So we're gonna find out, should you spend the extra money on a Costco Prime. A little side note about the price of these two. The Costco Prime was only $50. I was blown away when my friend showed up and delivered it. Uh, the Walmart Select was $41. That was only a $9 difference. That's right, people, I can do math. Okay, but in all seriousness, sometimes I get the Walmart Selects for about $32 to $38 for the same size. So I was a little bit surprised that it was that expensive, uh, but you can tell right away, and you're gonna see it in the marbling, the difference between these two, and it's, it's pretty amazing. Uh, so stay tuned. All right, so now it's time to trim the brisket. You can tell right away that the Costco brisket doesn't need to be trimmed as much as the Walmart, especially in that silver skin top layer portion. The Walmart pretty much needs to be trimmed a lot more than the Costco. I'm gonna show you step by step. I'm just kidding. Uh, Alton over at the Dog Father, he did a awesome trim video just the other day. I'm gonna put that in the description. If you wanna see every step you should take for trimming a brisket, just watch his video. Mine, I'm gonna fast forward so we can get through it. Now that our brisket is trimmed, since part two, we inject it versus not inject it. Well, spoiler alert, if you haven't watched that, you might wanna stop right now and watch that video before. We're injecting, and I love to break this out using Cosmos Blend. Hands down, you can see in that video, everybody, raw footage of people tasting it, 
and they're giving raw, this is so much better. So using Cosmos, uh, you gotta do it. Let's inject it. All right, I'm gonna slice this. I'm gonna do it in fast forward mode. If you want an extensive breakdown of how to slice a brisket, go over to my friend Dash's page. He did one a few weeks ago. It's 20 minutes of every possible breakdown of a brisket and the proper way a caterer does it. I'm going to cut it in half and kind of do the YouTube money shot so that we can compare the internals right away or the center, the center section of this brisket. But here we go. Guys, whew, I'm exhausted. Guys, last night around 3.30, I loaded three or four logs into the firebox and I, I know that it ran hot. It probably ran 350 and above because this bark is overdone, which is okay. All right, it's not the end of the world. Am I a little disappointed? Absolutely. Is it a competition brisket? Absolutely not. I've never made one of those in my life, and today wasn't the day I was going to start. This is a backyard brisket. All right, so I'm gonna taste it. I'm gonna taste the flat real quick and uh, for both, and then I'm going to get ready to call up some friends. They're gonna swing by, they're gonna grab some, and uh, just text me some honest feedback. So the smoke ring turned out great, but I definitely couldn't get the bend or anything like that. So that's a Walmart brisket. The flats, I wouldn't say dry, but it definitely could use, barbecue sauce wouldn't hurt this brisket. The salt and pepper is not really coming through. I went really light on that. Uh, I'm always so conflicted on how much to put on, but for this experiment, I really wanted the beef to speak for itself. So I did go light on purpose. But the next brisket I do, I'm probably gonna do off camera and I'm gonna load it up with some spices. 
All right, instantly. Costco brisket. I, I mean, we all knew. Sorry, I'm talking with my mouth up. We all knew it was gonna be amazing. You could see the prime marbling. In the flat, you can taste it right away. The Walmart flat had no fat in there. The Costco, you could see it and you can taste it because the injection, that's good. All right, let's go to the point. It's good. It's a good brisket. If Walmart's selling cheap briskets, I wouldn't walk away from them. The key with some of these pieces also is dependent. For me, if I get a little of that bottom fat going through the brisket, I really, really enjoy it more than just a regular, I, I need a little fat. So I believe with the Walmart brisket, if you get the right fat piece, the bottom fat, you're gonna be very happy. All right, I was hoping, but I kind of knew Walmart wasn't going to take the cake, especially with all I've seen on Instagram, some of my friends uh, smoking it up RBA style, the briskets he's done from Costco, they've just always looked amazing. Um, Costco, I need a connection. I need a Costco closer to me because this brisket for nine extra bucks or if Walmart's really on sale and it's 20 bucks more, I would go Costco. Um, there you have it folks. Should you spend the extra money on Costco, which really isn't that much more money? Hell yeah, you should. It's delicious. Just everything about it. It's more tender. Um, you can just, you can tell it's a better quality of beef, but we all had that thought in the back of our minds. Now we know it to be true. You know the deal. Subscribe to this channel if you enjoyed this. Watch my other brisket videos. I'm gonna put them right over here so you can follow this process. Share this with a friend. If you have a backyard barbecue warrior that's a friend of yours and he's not watching YouTube, we got a great community here that we're all doing awesome things. So make sure to share this video so they can learn something too. You guys, I hope you're having a great day and take care. Hi, I'm Macy. Thank you, Kevin, for making this meat. I really hope I enjoy I really think I'm going to enjoy it. All right. I'm Zoe, and I think I enjoy the meat, too. Thank you, Kevin. So two, done, two different types of brisket. I mean, it's two different cuts of brisket. It's two different so types of brisket. So, A, brisket A. Brisket A. Okay. Brisket B. Okay. All right. A, B, not K. Try it. Um, I'll try A for us. Sure. I just sprinkle. to <laughs> make a big piece. Let me try a little bit more. Try a little bit more. Mmm, it's good. It is good. This is pretty good. Mm -hmm. I'll be. I'm still eating. I'm gonna finish this. Okay, I'm gonna try the. Alright, try the. Hey. I don't want this. No. I'm not taking that. How about. Uh, take a little nibble. A little bit of that one. I'll take this. Okay. Let me try some of that one too. Mm. What do you think? A or B? Um, let me try A again. Go ahead, try A again. <gasps> I like A. Mm-hmm. Same. Both of you guys like A better? Mm-hmm. I like B better. It's peppery, more peppery, mm -hmm. and it has a bit more flavor, and it's not as chewy. Good, yeah. What do you think, Mace? Why do you like A better? Because it's, it's softer, and I don't know why, but... For some reason, I got a little bit of like it was sweeter than the other one. Okay, gotcha. It's cool. Sweet. Well, that, we're we're divided in the house then, because mommy and I both like B. You guys both like A. Interesting. All right, wrap it up. Oh, bye.
Hey guys, this is Parker's half birthday. Half birthday, yep. We're in quarantine and we're celebrating half birthdays. How crazy is that? Yeah, and we Par have cupcakes. For you. And we got cupcakes. Parker wants to play a game today or going forward in our videos called Easter eggs. She's gonna hide an apple within the screenshot and you gotta comment down below where you see the apple. Did you find Parker's little Easter egg? I'll give you